All right, guys, what's going on? We are getting set up to head out to the campsite here in just a few, and so I thought I would take just a moment to clarify some things. Uh, my last video was the first video in a while. It wasn't very clear exactly what has happened with our situation, but we had sold our fifth wheel that looked almost exactly like this, just some different color options, and we were gonna get a motor home. So I sold the dually and I sold the fifth wheel, and we had two motor homes that just didn't work out as far as the, the deal goes. Uh, we got almost to the point of purchase, picking it up, and something would happen. So after two tries, we thought maybe a motor home is just not what we need. So we always liked this fifth wheel and this layout, so we bought the exact same fifth wheel, uh, just two years newer, and some different colors. Uh, it's lighter colors on the inside, more grays instead of brown. The outside is a little bit more white than brown, but it's the same camper, same length, same model number, just two years newer, and some different colors. Uh, so I wanted to kind of clarify that because some of you had asked what happened to the Gen Y hitch that I had on the camper. This is a different camper, so it didn't come with the Gen Y hitch. So we got the, the F-250 and now we have the Montana. Now again, I'm still waiting on my new F-350 that is sitting in a yard somewhere in Kansas City right now and it's been there for a month because they can't find anybody, I guess, to drive the truck it's on to the dealership. So supply chain issues, whatever, it's annoying. So anyway, waiting on that truck. You can kind of see the squat here. It's not bad, honestly, considering it's overloaded. Um, the pin weight on this is about 2,400 pounds. Payload is 2489, and that's with nobody in it, nothing in the camper. So we're a little bit overweight. We're about to head out and go camping, so I've got a little firewood in here. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the Anderson hitch and some of my thoughts so far. I've towed about a thousand miles with this so far, and it's worked out really well. One of the things I like is there's no chucking when you take off. Now the Gen Y didn't have that either, but if you have a traditional fifth wheel like a BMW or something like that, it's going to have a little bit of a pop, maybe a chuck to it as you take off. There's no movement here as far as back and forth. Uh, the setup is really easy, but there's a pin that goes in there and hooks underneath the ball and that's what secures it. You push this all the way in and just turn that till it's tight and you can't pull it and it's secure. I have the Kurt uh, ball for the Ford OEM puck system and so that's, that's what's underneath there. Some people have said they have issue with the B&W ball because of the handle and the way it sits. Uh, so that's one of the reasons I specifically got this brand. As far as clearance goes, there is some adjustability. The ball itself has three positions. Uh, the position I have in it is the middle one right now, so that's where the pin is. So if you didn't have enough clearance here or your fifth wheel was sitting uh, at a bad angle, and you could raise the fifth wheel or lower it. One of the things that I have had happen with this hitch is that it will twist. So I've, I've tried to get this lined up pretty square. Um, on longer trips, I've noticed that it will twist a little bit. So this it may be in like that or out like that based on how much back and forth you have. Now I have the bolts torqued down actually a little bit past what they say, 60 to 70 pounds. I actually cranked it up a little bit and then tightened it a little bit more after that. So it's extremely secure as far as that goes. You tighten that bolt, then you tighten these two bolts on the back and basically it just locks it down and pulls it down on the ball so it pulls down into the bed. But uh, what I've read is that because you have a bed liner that it can spin. So Anderson does actually offer a bed mat uh, that goes underneath this to keep it from spinning, especially on trucks that have bed liners. But if any of you have used anything different, uh, please let me know. One of the things that you do have to have when you have one of these rotating uh, fifth wheel kingpins uh, like this uh, road armor is a lockout kit so you can see this is an Anderson kit basically puts a bar there a bar on the back and then uh, some uh, gear here to secure that and then basically it keeps that head from pivoting because you don't want it pivoting uh, with that connection there so it locks that out so if you do have a hitch like this road armor hitch you'll need a lockout kit for your uh, pivoting head all right guys, so that's it. Just a quick update on the new setup and the new hitch. If you have an Anderson hitch and you have experienced the twisting, please let me know. Uh, let me know what you did to fix that, if you have fixed it. 
uh, as time goes along and I figure out uh, different things with this hitch, I'll be sure to uh, keep you updated as far as any issues I have or any fixes to the twisting frame. So with that, we'll end the video and y'all stay tuned for what's next.